Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How are you? Welcome, welcome. How's all my peeps doing? Happy Tuesday. My name is Kara Allen. I am a stylist and a makeup artist, a wardrobe stylist. I help you unclutter your closet and style your authentic life. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about accessorizing. Thanks so much for joining. Thank you for the hearts. And thank you for sharing if you think this is going to be good information. Hey, Kita. Hey, Vanessa. How's everybody doing? The beauty voice. Hello. Hello. Love that. How's everybody? Yes. <laughs> hey, Kita. Good. Turkey. What's up, Turkey? <laughs> Istanbul. How are you all doing today? Great. It's a beautiful day in America, that's all I can say. <laughs> and the rest of the world, <laughs> wherever you are. I wanted to talk to you guys about accessorizing today because I get questions about that a lot. And I know that, thanks, hey Peja. Uh, I get a lot of questions about accessorizing. Um, and if you guys could do me a huge favor, oh, let me turn the music down, hold on. <laughs> Like one of the brands that I really would love to work with is Alex and Ani and Michael Kors. So if you guys could share this out on Twitter for me, you don't have to share it to your followers, but if you could share it to Twitter, that would be fantastic. I would really appreciate it. Anyway, so yes, I want to talk about accessorizing today. Um, one of the <laughs> and your ugliness is showing. So bye bye. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about scale in accessories except you wear a hat <laughs> thanks Peja and bracelet yeah so scale yes those are my favorites my favorites so I so Michael Kors you know I love their watches this is one of my favorite ones I forget the name of it it's uh I forget anyways thank you no, there's not that kind of show here, buddy, so you might want to go somewhere else. Um, I have a bracelet from them as as well. I, yes, I love them. Hey, Yvette. You wear your braces. <laughs> okay, well, they could be accessories, I guess. Yes. Your girlfriend game was... Oh, no. I love Marc Jacobs, too. I know, right? <laughs> I love Michael Kors. I mean, uh, Marc Jacobs, too. Actually, my... Glasses, my sunglasses somewhere around here are my Marc Jacobs. I have a gold pair and a brown pair. And even with glasses, you got to be careful with that. Thanks so much for sharing. Um, okay, so I'm a petite person, and I know that I, everybody tells me I look tall on scope, but I'm really not. <laughs> I'm really petite. I'm 4'11 and a half. I like Kate Spade as well. And um, yeah, they're like little little leaves. They, I got these from a place called I Am. So what I would tell you with earrings, okay? So since I... Ew, bye. Don't harass my guests, crazy. Um, <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, so being short... <laughs> you're welcome. We have to look out for each other because, yeah. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So I wouldn't wear earrings that are more than this, bigger than this, per se, because... I'm a teeny person, so it would look not, you know, nonsensical if I had like these huge oops on hoops on my head, right? And normally when I wear dangly earrings, I do not wear a necklace. I do, however, wear flowers on my clothing, and I wear the smaller ones, say, I would wear the white with this one, really, but the pink isn't bad. Um, but I love flowers. I was inspired by, um... Uh, what is it? Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, you know, as Carrie with the flowers. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm happy you're learning. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle. So these are so cute. I got these from H&M. They're the cutest little things. They come in two, like either the same color or two different colors. I have a red one as well. So these are other ways that you can accessorize. And it doesn't have to be up here you could put it like where I tie the dress down here I could put it down here if, so it wouldn't distract from my earrings right so keep thank you keep your scale 
small if you're small. Like if you're a tall person, you can wear those hoops. You can rock the heck, especially if you have big hair. Like I have small hair, so I wouldn't wear like something that's going to take up my whole side of my head, right? <laughs> it wouldn't make sense, right? So um, scale. Okay, and experiment with different things. I love butterflies, so a lot of my rings have butterflies on them. I'll show you some of those. They're all sitting behind me. So like, and this is the thing, if I was gonna wear this butterfly because it fits on my whole hand, I would not wear my watch because that's too much, right? Like, you're too blinged out. So I would take off the watch and just wear my butterfly, right? I can't remember where I got this butterfly, <laughs> but yeah, you want to do one or the other. Same with this on this side. These are all my Alex and Anis. I love, love, love my Alex and Anis, so I'm a little obsessed. I have like, I don't know, 17 of them, and I have one Pandora that my daughter bought me, so I love these, and there's, it's sort of a bohemian thing, you know, to have a bunch of them. <laughs> I don't think you can overdo them. Maybe I won't go more than 20, because that would be too much, but... I have about eh, 15 or so. My new favorite one is the Zest for Life. I wear them most times, yeah. Not every day, but I take them off at night. This one is my favorite new one, the Zest for Life. Love it. Love it. And uh, I got my son's birth... I got all my children, their birthstones and my birthstone. And I love this one, too. The Create... Create Peace of Mind. So... Uh, again, with scale, I would wear these, but I don't wear any rings on this hand because I want to be balanced. I don't want to wear too much. So I have these. Which one? Alex and Ani or the Michael Kors? Hey, Kathy, what's up? <laughs> yeah, Alex and Ani's. So these bangles you can't wear too many because they're stacked and that's how you present them. You could, however, yes, love Alex and Ani. Um, you could wear, say, like, this bracelet, and my bracelet, my watch, um, and I could wear the bangle on the other side, too, my Michael Kors. So that's cute. It's not too much. Of course, girl, of course. So, you know, again, I wouldn't wear my ring because it's too much, you know? Uh, what is it? Uh, Coco Chanel said, before you leave the house, take one thing off. Yes, they do look good stacked. Oomph, what is your name? <laughs> you have a really pretty picture. Yeah, because, I mean, it's that's how they're meant to be worn. And you don't always have to be uh, with these. You could have the little, they have a lot of different ones besides just the regular bangles. They have kind of jeweled ones and things like that, too, so you mix those in. And, oh, Rebecca, nice to meet you, Rebecca. And say, okay, so if, say if I was going to not wear my rings and my, I mean, my bracelets and my bangles, then I would just wear, I could wear these the rings stacked because I like to do that, too. I gotta show these to you. I'll give you a good example of how to stack rings. So this is, you can wear them, but I like the new ones that you can put like on your pinky, like on the top part. Hey Kayla, we can talk a bit later today if you have time. Yeah, Tom Ford isn't bad, but he's not my favorite. I love um, like all these little ones, you can just stack them, right? And then you can wear more than one and it doesn't look crazy. Like I have a whole bunch of different ones. And you can stack like three to five. They're cute. And I can't get this one off. <laughs> okay. Um, or you could wear like a pinky ring. Anya Hinmark. I have to check her out. So I like my pinky ring. And you could wear it like this and it wouldn't be too... But don't wear it. You don't need to wear all of your jewelry at one time, right? You don't need to wear them all five hand, all five fingers. <laughs> I almost said five hands. We're not octopuses. Um, you know... Yeah, I love the little midi rings and the pinky rings. <laughs> They're not worth that much. I mean, Alex and Ani's not that expensive. The, the cheapest one is probably 28 and the most expensive one I have is 38 Although they do go up to 98 for some of the more jeweled ones. But I love how you can just, like, stack all these together. Eh, maybe. Yeah, probably a little more than 100 but, you, can, you know, these are all relevant together, so you could wear them as a stack instead of by themselves. And they're cute, right? So when I had these, I would not wear a bracelet. <laughs> right? Okay. So, and then the third thing I wanted to tell you about that is there's no rules. Like, you can do whatever. Yeah, I love them. I love the stack rings. And I can't get this one off either. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, there's no rules. 
the only thing I would say is for balance sake is if, like I said, if you're going to wear long earrings, thank you, then don't necessarily wear a necklace. If you do wear it, make it really thin because it just looks too much. You don't want to look like Mr. T, okay? Nobody wants to be Mr. T. Mm -mm, not cute. You know, you don't have to do all of it at the same time. It's just not necessary. Not necessary. So, yeah. It's a, definitely a balancing game. And for metals, hey, sunny side, how are you? Um, I'm a, a very warm tone person, so I wear gold. And if you see me wear silver, it's usually going to be in something small like this little ring. I would wear that because... If you look at this, if you watch, look the silver next to my face versus the gold, you can tell how the gold lights up my skin. And the silver does nothing, absolutely nothing for it. It makes me look old. <laughs> I'm great. How are you? Oh, I did ask you that already. So what are you doing today? Thanks for stopping by. So yeah, see silver versus gold to me. <laughs> And so you have to be careful with that because anything you wear next to your face is what's going to make you look youthful or older. And who wants to look older? Like, who wants to look older? Seriously? You're getting society tips. I got you. Yeah, these are the only ones that you would see me wear, like in a silver. And they're not really silver. They're more platinum. You could mix, like this one has, I don't know if you can see, he has a little gold in the middle of him. So I could wear, I would wear him with my gold if I wore other gold rings too. But if I was wearing this, I wouldn't. Yeah, it's silver does not look good on me. Um, I do like gold metal and I love navy. I just got this navy Michael Kors watch and it is everything. It is everything. <laughs> it's just like the other one I got. It's Darcy, that's what it is. Darcy, so I have two Darcy's now, but gold and navy. So I like these because they go, they go with everything. You know, they're simple, they're not overstated. I can't stand stuff that is just overly blingy, that looks crazy. All it's gonna do is get you robbed. How about that? <laughs> well, hey, if silver looks great on you, then rock it, girl. Yeah, they just came out with it. They just came out with the navy ones. Um, they have other models too, but other than the Darcy, they have some other cute ones. So like, even if I was going to wear these little dangly things, you know, you could probably wear a little small necklace with that. But the scale of these is so big, you know, <laughs> you don't want to wear like too much. You don't want to do too much. Rose gold is a favorite. Yeah, a lot of people like rose gold. I'm not, a, it's not my thing, but I'm sure a lot of people do. So here's, I could stack these. Yeah, girl. <laughs> I have a lot of them. This one was a birthday present. My other Michael Kors. Uh, this one I don't love. Like, it's okay. I thought I really liked it, but then it's like bulky, and I don't really like that. I like the Darcy because it's thin, and then I have this other one that I really like too. So I'm a gold girl. That's, that's what I do. That's what I do. So anyways, but yeah, so those are my three tips. Watch your scale. Experiment and see how you like things and you know, you don't have to stick to one thing. And then realize there's no rules. You can do whatever you like. Whatever you like. <laughs> uh, whatever looks good with you, basically. Mini Blair. I have to check that one out. I haven't seen that one. You like your watches on the mask? I do too. I like the big ones. Yeah. I do like, you know, the bigger faces. I have a bunch of small ones that I just don't even wear anymore because... They're just so small. <laughs> so I really love my bigger ones. Thanks so much for the hearts, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I like them. I like that these are thin, though, versus the other one that was bulky. But I like them as a bigger face. I need to set the time on this. This one's not even right. Um, so, yeah. Anybody have any other questions? Anything else you want to see? I have some. Oh, I do like black, too. I have a couple black ones. So I wear these when I wear like things that the gold won't necessarily go with. And you've probably seen a lot of my other ones. I like these because they're they're so lightweight and you could wear them with anything. I kind of am and kind of not. I only wear my scarf usually when it's chilly and uh, because I'm small and if you put too much on my neck like that, it has to be a really thin scarf, my neck would disappear. <laughs> so... Um, Yes, and I have a lot of those, Jackie. I do. What do you scope about, Jackie? I don't think I've seen you before. TV host. Wow, that's balls. I like that. 
what do you host or what is your TV show about? I do um, cos- scope about cosmetics sometimes since I'm a makeup artist. I am 4'11 and a half. Oh, wow, you're QVC host. That's so cool. You know what's funny is I've always seen, I do a little acting here and there, and I've seen some of those um, come up, like the casting calls for those come up. But it's Pennsylvania, and I can't, I just, I live in Virginia, so I'm not going to be running back and forth to Pennsylvania. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> Um, let's say, what time, are, what time is it now for you, Kayla? 5.53. Yeah, that's really cool. Which one, what show do you host? Like, I don't know, I don't watch it that much, but you're, the, oh, you're tall. It's three now for you. Okay, so it's six basically here. Hmm. So let's say nine, my time. I could be a guest. That would be fun. I would love that. I would I would come up to be a guest. That would be great. We should connect. Yeah, I would love that. Cause I love makeup. I love accessories. I love clothes. Like that's my whole thing, you know, since I'm a stylist and I dress people. That would be great. Oh yes. <laughs> I am the connection queen page for sure. You gotta tell me you heard about the um Something about the sponsor. I got to talk to you about that, Paige. I, I saw you on somebody's scope talking about that. Yes, beauty people unite. Well, beauty and style go together. They're not separate because you're not done if your face is and your hair isn't done. Like that, whenever they do makeup shows or makeover shows, that is the whole thing. Oh, that would be amazing. Thank you. Um, maybe we could DM each other. Or, or can you follow me on Twitter and I can DM you. I'm Kara Allen. K-A-R-A-A-L-L-A-N. Hey, Eugene, my man. Slide into the Duma. What is that? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, yeah, so. Bex blog. Oomph. Okay. Oh, somebody just took a picture. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, so, you know, whenever you Bex... S- yeah, we should do that. That would be the bomb.com. Like, I love doing makeovers. I love that. It's like for somebody to see themselves so different than what they're used to, it's the most amazing thing to do for people. I love that. And hair and makeup has to be a part of it. So style and beauty go together. You can't separate the two. They're like Sunny and Cher, <laughs> even though they did separate. But, you know, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a whole package. It's not just one or the other. I would love to have a makeover show, like literally a makeover show where we just snatch people off the street and hook them up. Like that would be the best thing ever to me. Don't you think? Like instead of the planned ones where you have to call in and do all that. No, like literally if you, I would be walking around in the mall somewhere or something and literally I'd be like, oh my, would you like to come with me? <laughs> I would so do that. Just snatch people up give them a whole new look within an hour or two and they would be set like really (laughs) i would love that that'd be the best thing ever thanks so much for the heart hearts uh yeah i mean it's like the best thing the only thing is like i see a lot of those pitch one to style tlc yeah maybe you have to help me with that jackie i'm i don't even know who what the heck to do with that (laughs) i mean i get it in theory but you know how what to say and who to send it to and all of that stuff. That's that's homework in itself. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so yeah, a lot of you know I used to work for Stacy London. Stacy London had a company called Style for Hire, and I was one of her vetted stylists. Where we were independent stylists, they wanted it to be all over the country. Um, it didn't quite make it that far. I think they did California, New York. D- they launched in D.C. I want to say Chicago, maybe too, in Florida. And so she wanted it. To, the idea was that everyone style could be affordable. A stylist could be affordable for everyone. And so it was like you could find, go on the website, put in your zip code, and see what stylists were in your area. And it was really cool. I mean, I did two styling, two different styling sessions with her. She is a beast. Like she is not a joke. She is the truth. And she always said that working on style for hey Tanya, uh working on style for hire gave her the best um homework or learning experience as far as people's bodies cuz she used to work for magazines and would style pe- models for that, which is like totally different from styling regular people. So, um 
she was just amazing though. I mean, you, you felt really intimidated around her because if she didn't like something or didn't think it was all that, she told you. <laughs> and you were like, oh, okay. Let me go pick my face up off the floor. <laughs> so yeah. But anyway, um, so yeah, I just, I loved working with her. She was really cool. And I would love to do a style makeover kind of thing where you could just snatch people off, like have a, not a truck, like Eugene, we used to talk about that, but literally if you worked with the malls or the stores or something and just literally snatch people up and be like, Hey, come with me. <laughs> people would love that. They would show up at the mall. I mean, like they would show up at the mall just for that. If they thought they were going to get styled <laughs> randomly right so anywho oh yeah we still have to do that Danielle thanks the mom ledger are you okay yes yeah, sidewalk makeovers <laughs> cafe makeovers Starbucks makeovers yay <laughs> oh that's so cool that's so cool Jackie I love that yeah that would be amazing you know and the other thing about styling um Oh, well, <laughs> that's funny. Um, working with celebrities. I know some of them are really cool, and some of them are just nutballs. I mean, I've heard stories, and it's just like, whoa. Regular people are probably easier to deal with, I would think. But you don't know. I mean, everybody's different, so you can't assume that. But, yeah, I've heard some stories. Not pretty. Anyways, um... Anybody have any other questions or anything? Jackie, I would love to connect with you for sure. Um, hey, Blingy Karen. So again, if... Uh, I know, right? The food trucks. Um, how are you, Blingy Karen? <laughs> I love that username. Um, so my three takeaways, again, really quick, was to watch your scale. Oh, outstanding. That's fantastic. Watch your scale with your accessories. Um, if you're going to wear dangly or big earrings, don't wear a necklace. Okay, I'll look you up. Um, if you're wearing a watch, <laughs> Bob Marley, you know it, Mom Ledger. <laughs> um, if you're wearing a watch, don't do a ring. Because you don't want, you know, like, for instance, if I'm wearing my cocktail ring, I'm not going to wear my watch. Because that's just too much. Jackie QVC. Okay, I will definitely connect with you. Yes, he was the best. Um, yeah, so you can see how that's just too much. It's too blingy. Too much going on. You know, or if I'm wearing these, <laughs> right? My girlfriend is Jamaican. I wouldn't do this too because that's just crazy, right? Too much. You got too much going on. We don't need to do all that. <laughs> so yeah, watch your scale, but experiment. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it does happen on here. It's crazy. Um, experiment. Like, <laughs> yes, I would figure Miss Blingy would say that. Um, I love butterflies. So I, I have lots of jewelry that has butterflies. Like, that's how I showcase my love for my butterflies. As well as my tattoos. Um, what else? Oh, and flowers. Like, for my... I put these on my dress. Sorry, my stuff's all hanging out here. But yeah, and I keep the scale small. Like I don't have, the biggest flower I might have is just like this bigger. I wouldn't wear too much more than that because it would look crazy because I'm 4'11". So if you're in the medium height, say from 5'5 five five to 5'10", five e, yeah, <laughs> cute size, right? Fun size, TSA travel size, woo woo. <laughs> That's who we are, us little petite people. Um, if you're like in the medium range, who do I target for what, K. Harris? How are you? Um, if you're in the medium size, like I would say maybe even 5'4 to 5'10 for my services. Um, well, my, mostly my serv my people target me. It's kind of interesting. I don't really go looking. They, they come find me. But it's mostly women more than men. I do have some men clients, though. Um, own their own business. A lot of people... They are either executives, higher end people. I have some actors. I have people who are doing headshots. I have just a little bit of everything. <laughs> right? 
Yeah, yeah. As far as you know, because Petite is considered to be five four and under. So anywhere from five four to five ten. I mean, that's not a huge range. You're talking about mate, not even a what six five six inches. So yeah, you're considered medium six one, like five eleven six. Really, really six feet over is considered tall, ish. So in the in that world, but you know, watch your scale. If you're in the medium, you can pretty much wear anything. But if you're short or if you're tall, you gotta kind of watch your scale with things, and that goes for prints on your clothing too. Like I couldn't wear some huge freaking flowered print on my dress; I would look nuts. I need small scale prints. So let's say like on this pillow, I would wear I would wear this kind of pattern scale because it's small. <laughs> I hear you, girl. Especially if you have heels, and I can understand that. But yeah. Prints, when I'm talking about scale, I'm talking about this kind of size. Like, this is even kind of a medium. Hey, Natalie! <laughs> What's up? Um, this is a smaller print. This is a medium print size. So you gotta watch your scale. If you're in that medium range, you could wear that medium flower. That would be kind of teetering on the edge for me. Because <laughs> I'm better with a small print. Um, even geometrics, like I need small scale prints. You gotta watch that. Even in your earrings, like I don't wear big blingy crazy pieces because it would just overwhelm me. It would look nuts. So, and then the third thing is there really aren't any rules, as I say that about the scale. But it's about balance more than anything because you want to be balanced in your look. If somebody always, how I always feel like is if people hone in on one thing on your outfit, then the whole thing doesn't, is not congruent. Because when somebody says you look great versus, oh, I like your shoes then they're not really seeing your whole picture. Because your outfit tells a story, right? So you want it to be a story that people read as they watch you from head to toe, and it should make sense together, that story. All of your pieces, your accessories, your shoes, your earrings, you know, all those things, they all need to be in balance. So just remember that when you're putting things together. And I know a lot of women say they have problems with accessories, they just don't know how to put them together. Yeah, it's a balancing act. Thank you. <laughs> it's a balancing act. You want the story to make sense. You want the story to be readable, as it were. Because I see a lot of times people put stuff together and it's like, hmm, <laughs> those, that doesn't tell a story. It, it just looks like distraction everywhere because there's too many pieces that don't. You want things to complement, not be matchy-matchy, but complement. And complimenting means, you know, this gold might go a little bit with this in my earring or my, this color, you know, contrast, but it complements the blue that I already have on or whatever it is. Um, that's the whole point of when you put together outfits. It's a story. I'm telling a story. So what story are you telling today in your outfit or your look or whatever it is that you're doing? Gotta tell a story. All right, so thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any other questions and anything I didn't answer, you can DM me uh, on Twitter, and I'm at Kara Allen. That's K-A-R-A-A-L-L-A-N, not E-N. You won't find me under E-N. And bedtime story because you're in PJs. <laughs> Sad story of sweats and a tea. Oh, girl, you got to get up out of those. We want to see that Marilyn Monroe <laughs> You're welcome, Jackie. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will jump on Twitter after this and uh, send you a quick message because I would love to connect with you. That would be pretty amazing. I just love Periscope. Like, <laughs> it's so ridiculous how I could have, be having a conversation with you guys right here. Hey, Lizzie. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Um, you can have a conversation with people all over the world. Like, it's so insane to me like that this is happening <laughs> so insane thank you for sharing blingy blingy Karen <laughs> um, yeah so anyways it has been such a pleasure speaking with you ladies this afternoon and gentlemen that popped in and said hello to um, and if there's anything else that you guys are interested in me talking about as far as style or makeup please let me know you can uh, either tell me now or you can send me a message on Twitter or Instagram or Pinterest or wherever. You can find me everywhere or on my website. Oh, cool. Yeah, I am in Lorton. Mm -hmm. I am. 
long as you're not the guy on the bike that says he's going to park his bike outside. <laughs> that was the most weird freaking troll I had ever. He's like, I'm outside. Where should I park my bike? I was like, really? Maybe you'll park it in front of the police station because that's where you're going to be. <laughs> like, get over yourself. Yeah, people are stupid. So it is what it is. <laughs> right. Oh, my. <laughs> that's what I said. A lo I don't know if he really was, too. Anyway, you know, the thing is, I live in a building with a thousand other people, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to find me exactly here? No. <laughs> like, get over yourself. I'm not in a house by myself. And even, I'm not in here by myself. There's like six people in here at any given time. So yeah, come knock on my door. Mm -hmm. See what happens. See what will happen to you. <laughs> and the majority of the people in here are men. So you'll get yourself and your feelings hurt. How about that? Yeah, I know. You have to be careful for sure. Tell them I live in the Lord Penitentiary. <laughs> you know what's funny is the old penitentiary is right down the road. Literally. It's funny. But it's not a jail anymore. <laughs> it's like a workhouse center. They turned it into where you can do um, crafts and uh, cooking lessons and all this stuff. So there's no jail anymore. <laughs> it's gone, but it's still funny anyway, right? Yeah, exactly. And then the sanitation thing is across the street. And then the other part is a golf course. Like, they just totally did away with all that stuff. So I ain't worried about it. It's all good. <laughs> I, I, You know. No, he doesn't know that. And he, he'll figure it out. <laughs> That's all I can say. And I, and all else, I'm good with 911. And I got some pepper spray for your ass. So, anyways, all right. Thank you guys. Love you so much. Thanks for stopping by. I love the conversation and the engagement. Yeah, I might, I might need to do a chatty party tonight. I don't have to work in the morning, so I'd be good for that. If y'all are up to it. Thanks, Lizzie. If you can check the replay for the. Accessory tips. I went over them a couple times. <laughs> right. Like, no, I don't play them games. You will get yourself hurt. You come up in here. You know, I don't, I don't do that. Mm -mm. We ain't playing with you. Bye bye, troll. Bye bye. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> see y'all later. Ciao.